praise God. Praise God, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. I'm Bishop Joseph Warren Walker III, right here of the Mount Zion Church of Nashville, Tennessee. And I want to welcome you and thank you for being a part of the Mount Zion Prayer Call. We're so excited to have you connected on today. We believe today is a wonderful day in the Lord. And certainly we thank God for all of you that have called in on our prayer line this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send somebody a message, tell them, dial in. And if you're on Periscope this morning, make certain that you let somebody know. The Mount Zion prayer call is on this morning. Slide from left to right, invite, tell somebody to get on because it is on right now. We want everybody to be connected this morning. This is a historic morning and we definitely want you to be a part of what God is doing. Let me declare over your life, something big is going to happen in your life. Yes, it is. And I'm grateful for all that God is doing. I'm grateful uh, for all that I know is happening. I'm still on a high from what happened Sunday at the Mount Zion Church. If you missed it, oh my goodness. Go back, check it out, mtzionanywhere.org. Go down to uh, Video On Demand. Just go to mtzionanywhere.tv. It'll take you right there. You don't want to miss it. It was truly a blessed day. And then, man, let me tell you, tomorrow, you do not want to miss, you do not want to miss Bible study as we move into uh, the part two of this book of Genesis. We're having a great time, and I want to encourage you to get up wherever you are and be a part of Bible study. Get up, be a part of where you are. Do you know if you have the Mount Zion app, do you know that you can receive notifications and reminders? What I would like you to do is if you have the Mount Zion app, go into your notifications and make certain that you say yes to the notifications on the app. That way you can be reminded of specific announcements and things. They'll cut right to your phone that we send out. So please do that. Just go to notifications, go down to the Mount Zion app, click yes, and I guarantee you, you'll get a lot of cool things that uh, will benefit you. So I look forward to you doing that. Now, I do want to tell you today, 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 get out and vote. Get out and vote. I'm going to the polls and I want you to be there today. Every person needs to be there. I need you, if you could, if you're talking and uh, your phone's probably not on mute. Sometimes what happens on our phone uh, is that some people's phone is not muted. And so if you're on the telephone, just put your phone on mute because if you talk, I probably can hear you and, and thousands of other folks can hear you. So make certain that you be aware of that. But uh, nevertheless, I'm gonna be at the polls and I definitely want you to be there I'm going to be going around the city, and uh, I want you to get out and vote. Let's do it, y'all. In historic numbers today, it is so important that we vote, vote, vote. Every single vote counts. So get out and do it. Finally, I want all of you to know that this Sunday coming up this weekend is our College Sunday weekend. We're so excited about what God is going to do. We're having all four services, 7 a.m., 8.15, 9.30, all three services and then our 1115 service will be at the TSU Gentry Center. I want to invite you to come out. It's going to be just phenomenal as we believe thousands, thousands of souls are going to be there and hundreds are going to be saved. I want you to be there. And of course, if you're interested in sowing a seed to help us with uh, College Sunday, we, we bust in all these kids, we feed them, do that. All you got to do is text I praise to the number 41444, and you can join us as we bless college students this weekend. That's I praise to 41444. I've been asking for 300 people to give $300, 300 at $100. Whatever you give is fine. I just want you to know we appreciate you. Give 50, 25, whatever. Just know every gift matters. Thank you so much. It's going to be awesome. Now, today, God has a word for your life. I want to take you to uh, Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. Here it is. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Now, I want to talk today about when you need a door to open. 
People of God, all of us have been in that place where you have fervently prayed and believed God for something to happen in your life. You've been in that place in your life where you have clearly said, Lord, there's some things on the other side of this door I need to happen. Maybe for some of you, it's a job situation. Maybe some of you, maybe it's a situation in your marriage or in your family. Or maybe perhaps it is a financial situation, a health situation. Maybe you're believing God for a child. Whatever it is, I want you to understand God is in the door opening business. And there is a strategy that you have to have in prayer when you need a door to open. You can't just stand back and just look at the door and think something's going to happen. Jesus calls us to a higher level of prayer. And it is so important that we understand a very simple formula that I want to give to you today. If you need a door open, you're on the right prayer call this morning because God is going to speak into your life. Let me give you three words that I believe you can live with if you need a door to open. The very first word is this, petition. Petition. Here it is. The Bible says, ask, and it will be given to you. The Bible says we have not because we ask not. Petition means that I know specifically where to take, where to take my situation to. When I petition, I know exactly what that means. That means I labor before God. That means I ask him because I know that God has the resources to do what I need done. Stop going to people, asking people for things that they're not qualified to do in your life. Learn the power of saying, God, I come to you. I literally take my burden to you. I look to the hills and would come at my help. My help comes from the Lord. Listen, it doesn't matter how often you petition God or how much petitions or how many petitions you have. It doesn't mean that because so many other folk have petitions that God is petitioned out or he has no more provision to give. Look, he's God all by himself. And I want you to understand, child of God, you got to be willing to take your petitions to God. If you can believe as a child in the fictitious Santa Claus and everybody takes their list to Santa Claus, Santa Claus never gets tired, right, of getting a list from every child. What makes you think God gets tired of getting your list? The whole idea is take your burdens to God. Be specific. Tell God what you want. The Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart. Supplicate. Be very specific. Lord, I petition you in this particular area in my life. I'm believing you, God, for a child. I'm believing you for a promotion. I'm believing you for divine healing. Whatever it is, be very specific. Be very specific. Petition God and watch what will happen. I'm telling you, people of God, it is so important. When you go to God, you have to go in faith, though, because the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 6 that you have to go to God because you got to believe that God is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, which leads me into our second word today, pursue, pursue. Let me talk about that word. It's so important because people of God, it's one thing to petition. But now you have to pursue. The scripture clearly says, seek and you will find. What does that mean? That means I am pursuing the will of God for my life. Lord, I'm pursuing you in this. Before you give me the thing I asked for, Lord, I need to have more of you. Lord, I want to make sure you have more of me. I'm pursuing you. I need you in my life. I need your presence before I need this present. You see, many of us only go after the thing of God. And once we get the thing of God, we no longer spend time with God. We no longer worship. We become lethargic and we just become lazy. But I'm telling you, you got to get to a place where you're pursuing God and the will of God for your life. Lord, what is your will for my life? You see, what I'm asking God for may be his will for my life, but when I pursue him, he may tell me it's going to happen, but it's going to happen at a specific time that may be different than the time frame that I want. In other words, sometimes God will say, not yet. 
If it does not yet, it's not a no. It just means not yet. We get frustrated and say, but God, you didn't do it at that time. You didn't do it because God, you weren't pursuing God. If you pursue God, you got to know that his vision is for an appointed time. It doesn't mean that he's not going to do it. A delay is not a denial. It just means you've got to totally trust in his plan for your life. He sees further down the road. He knows what's happening. And you got to be willing to say, Lord, I pursue your will. Whatever it is, your timing, when you deliver it, it's all right with me. Seek, 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 and you shall find. Finally, the last word I want to give you is the word persist. Persist. In other words, knock and the door shall be open. Do you know what that really means? That means that you are persistent in your prayer life. That means that when you pray for a thing, you're willing to labor over that thing in prayer. It doesn't mean that you feel God didn't hear you the first time, but it means you're letting God know that you're willing to stay connected and in communion with him and that you are constantly pursuing and persisting until that door is open. When you knock on a door, you knock wondering, I'm going to knock until that door opens up. That is a natural thing to do. You don't just knock and just stand there. Nobody comes to the door for 30 minutes to an hour. No, you knock again. You knock again. Why? You know somebody's in the house, so you knock until they come out. How awesome is that? That's what happened when Peter knocked on that door in Acts 12, and uh, Rhoda told him, somebody is at the door. I want you to understand that when you pray every day, when you go before God and you say, God, here I am again. I'm coming again, believing you for what you promised me. I'm trusting in your will, but God, I just want you to know I'm still here. Standing, trusting you. I haven't gone anywhere. Like this morning, we're knocking. We're letting God know we're right here. I'm telling you right now, people of God, this is a powerful, powerful revelation. My prayer to you today is that doors are going to open. I want to pray for you right now because I believe some things you've been believing God for. I believe some doors are about to open up in your life. And I'm telling you, God's going to do something crazy awesome. Listen, I'm going to pray. But before I pray, because I'm going to end on this prayer note, I want to make sure you put it out there in social media space. I want you to make sure you let somebody know this prayer call, Bless Your Life. Hashtag MT Zion prayer call. I want you to say, let's go. Let's make this literally go viral today. Let's trend it. MT Zion prayer call dot org or just MT Zion prayer call. Rather, I want you to let people know what God spoke to you. Send it out there on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Put a word out there. Let's pray. Let's thank God today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now for every person on this prayer call today. Father, we stand in the midst of a historic moment in the life of the United States of America. God, we pray first of all that, Lord, you will put it on the hearts of your people to vote. Let people, oh God, come today in historic numbers all around this nation to be inspired to go and to vote. God, we know your will is going to be done. Father, I pray now, Lord, that those who need doors to be opened, Lord, I pray, God, that they will understand the power of petition and pursuing and being persistent. Father, today I come against the spirit of discouragement, and I pray now more than ever, oh God, that, Lord, you will encourage them and let them know that you sent your word today to heal them. God, I thank you right now that doors are opening now, things that people have been frustrated about waiting on, that because they were connected to this prayer call, that doors are going to open on their behalf. Father, we give you glory and praise right now that we can sense turnarounds happening now. Help us, oh God, to maintain a level of consistency and faithfulness. And Father, we thank you. We give you glory because you are an amazing God. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And so God, we just thank you for all that you have done in the lives of your people. Father, we thank you for the healing that's taking place right now. Somebody who's going back to the doctor to get a good report we thank you, Father, for the door that's opening in somebody's business, somebody's job situation. God, do it now 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody's going to be pregnant this time around. Somebody, I thank you, Father, that it shall happen in Jesus' name. Father, I give you glory and praise for financial breakthroughs. I thank you, Father, something big going to happen in the life of your people. Father, help us, oh God, to continue to pursue you. It's all about you. Make us closer, Father. Get us to a place where it's really about you. We bless you, God. We speak it now in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We pray your strength, your wisdom, even upon those who are struggling, who are bereaved. And God, we thank you that you are the God who heals us from the inside out. God, we give your name the glory and praise. And we thank you for the Mount Zion prayer call today. God, it's going to be a great day. We believe a historic day. And we thank you now. And we say to God be the glory for the things you have done. So God, for the door that's opening, thank you. For the way that you're making, thank you. For the situation you're turning around, thank you. We bless you now and give your name the glory. In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen and amen. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.